Hi guys, Perry here. Um, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit a screenshot. Um, we, today, we're going to use a tool called Good Annotations to help us edit our screenshot. Um, to get to that website, what you need to do is head over to Google and type in edit screenshot good annotations, hit enter, and then you'll see a few links from good annotations. The one we want here is the second one that says edit screenshot good annotations. If we click that, we're taken to the good annotations uh, website. And the button that we want to click is the start editing a screenshot. So let's just click that. What would you like to do? We have some options here. You can capture a screen using the screenshot tool, or you can upload one that you already have. Um, I'm going to use the sample that they have here um, because they provide a screenshot of the Google Home web page. And now that's been opened up in the screenshot uh, editor tool that Good Annotations have. On the left, you can see all the different editing tools that um, they provide. They've got some draw tools, a labeling tool, a text tool, elements and shapes, and you can even add a background to your screenshot. Um, in this example, I'm gonna pretend that I'm creating some kind of marketing content um, for my website. So let's give our website a bit of a back shadow or a drop shadow. So we're gonna hit background and we're gonna click the drop shadow button there. There we go, we can see a nice little shadow was added. Um, I want to give some context to the screenshot that I'm going to put on the website to make sure that people know it's a website or an app. Um, obviously everyone knows what Google is, but maybe you're using a tool that people aren't too so familiar with. So to do that, I'm going to add a mock-up to the screenshot. To do that, you need to go over to the elements tool and add a frame. Uh, this frame I'm going to use is the browser version here. So just click that and now we can see that a very minimalistic good design for a browser has been added on to my screenshot. Um, so we're looking good. We've made some nice few simple edits to make it pop a little bit more than it normally would on a flat website. Um, but maybe there's some other things that I just want to add. Um, that's draw uses attention to the search field because maybe on this website that I'm making it's actually a how-to guide or a user guide to show people step by step how they need to do something on my app. Um, so I'm going to use the rectangle draw tool just to highlight the search button here. Oh, that's nice and cool and then I'm going to add uh, a label saying what they need to do with that button which is click here. Um, I want to make that a little bit smaller because I think it's taking up too much of the real estate on the screenshot at the moment. That's better and then I'm just going to drag that over to the button. Now it's super obvious that they need to click the Google search button. Um, but maybe that's not enough context for the screenshot. Maybe I want to explain what the screenshot's actually doing and what its purpose is. So for that, I'm going to add a quick sticky note on there, just explaining a few things to the user, rather than them having to like scroll down to look at the text underneath and then scroll back up. I can just put the text in the screenshot. So I'm going to go to the text tool and then I'm going to add a nice yellow sticky note. And I'm going to move it to the top left, a little bit out of the way. And I'm going to describe here are the steps you need to follow to search on Google. Uh, maybe I want to make that a little bit bigger. Perfect. And I'm just going to move it to the top left so it looks nice. And cool. I'm happy with my edited screenshot. I've added some nice elements in there. There are other things I could do, but if you want to look at those, please look through some of the other videos I've been creating to see how to use them. Um, now all we need to do is download it. So if we hit more, we can download as image. Let me just move that out of the way. So download as image. Or if you don't want to download it, you can hit the share button and you get a URL that you can share with anyone or embed into your own website. So that's really cool. It's a nice little feature that they have. Um, otherwise, here we go. Here is the downloaded image. 
with all of the editing that I did to it. So you can see that the sticky notes there, we can see the drop shadow. So when I put this onto any background, it's transparent as it's a PNG, so that's awesome. So you can put it on a black background, a white background, a color background, anything, and you'll see that image with the drop shadow. Plus all the little um, edits that I did, like the browser tab, the annotation labels, and the sticky note. Cool, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please hit the subscribe button below and we will show you more content like this.